Can you see it? Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Yep. All right, so what's it say? Let the cost of an apple be A and the cost of banana be B. One apple and one banana costs $1.25. Write an equation using cents, not dollars, to describe this information. Okay. So. Are you right doing part A or do you want me to do part A? Cost one banana. Well, is it just a simple equation? Like, is it just yep. A equals 125? Not quite. No. Read, uh, read the first part of the question. Oh, A plus B. Yep. Right. Equals? Um, in sense? Yep. So A plus B equals 125? Yep. Good. Yeah. Um, one apple and one banana cost. Oh, okay. A plus B equals 125. Mm -hmm. Write an equation to describe this information. Two apples and three bananas. Yep. So, 2A. Yep. Plus 3B equals 325. Yep. Draw a graph of the two equations on the same number line. Mm hmm Now, on this number line... Oh, that's fine. Okay. And then you do one using that as the what, like you... I don't know how this works. Um, use A as the horizontal axis. Okay, cool. Sorry, say that again. So, yeah, it, you literally just read it out. A is the horizontal and B is the third. That's right. So that's X. So which letter would this be? Um, B. Yep. And which letter would this be? A. Now, does it matter? The answer is not really. It doesn't really matter so much, okay? Yeah. So, um, in order to graph this, right, we would need to rearrange it. We would need to rearrange this. Mm -hmm. um, y equals mx plus b. So, what letter would be the y? B. B. So, yeah, if we rearranged it, it'd be b equals to? Hundred and fifty plus A. Sorry, hundred and twenty-five plus A. Uh, okay. So, if which side of um? Oh, A. Yep. So A. Sorry, is a the, plus. So. Oh, you minus A. Yeah. So, what would the answer be? Hundred twenty-five minus A. Yes. Or. Um, minus A plus. Yes, good. Yep. Now, what would that look like? Negative. Yep. So have a negative gradient. And what would the gradient be? One. Yep. And where would it start? 125. Yep. So you're starting at 125. Okay. Yep. And you're ending at 125. Got it? Starting in okay, yeah. And that's your and that's basically what that gra that graph looks like. Real. Got it? Because yep. when A equals to zero, right? B equals to 125. When B equals to zero, A equals to 125. Yeah. Yeah. So that's your line for part A. Got it? Yep. Now. Can, you, can we do the same thing for part B? So we need to make B the subject of the formula? Yeah. So... Yes. Divide by two? Mm, is it 
divided by two. Well, let's make through which part do we need to make the subject of the formula? Is it the two A or the three B? Oh, sorry, you're the A. Which part do we need to make the, the subject? A. So the subject is the part at the beginning. Yeah, so okay. for a straight for a straight line, the equation is what yeah and what what letter is the the y oh the y intercept yep what letter oh sorry what pro numeral represents y b yeah so what what letter is the subject of the formula b yep so we've got to get b three b on the left okay so when we rearrange this Wait, so we're making B, making B the subject? Yes. Okay. Yep. So when um, we you'd minus the 2A. Yes, good, good, good. So what does the next line become? 3B equals 325 minus 2A. But the A is the X in the... Yes, that's right. And then um, divide by 3. Yes, let's do that. What's that become? And then are we putting it all over three? Yep. Okay. So, another way of writing that. Oops. Yep, so to read. Good. Okay. Cool. Now, what I want you to do is tell me the X and the Y intercepts or the A and the B intercepts, right? So when for each, a, for each one. Yep. So A equals zero, B equals to what? When B equals to zero, A equals to what? Is that for that, that second formula? Mm -hmm. For this formula. Um, you might um, feel free to use your calculator because what you might need to do is that A equals to zero. You're going to sub it straight into there. Okay. And then when B equals to zero, you're going to sub it straight into there and you're going to work out what the answer is. What at 325 over 3? Yep. Uh, so when A equals 0, B equals 325 over 3? Yep. Which is what? If you press the SD button, what's it tell you? This is 108.3 repeater. Yep. Yep. And then, so then B would equal uh -huh. what the negative two over three? Yeah. So the B would go here. Okay. So, so you get zero equals minus two on three, A plus 325 on three. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Okay. Now, how would you solve this? Minus um, the 325 over 3. Yep. Oh, do you want me to yep, it? yep, yep. Well, what's 0 minus? We'll just minus 300. And negative. 25 on 3. Equals to what? What's the right? What would the right hand side of the equation now become? Oh, 2 over 3a. Yeah, minus 2 over 3a. Yep. Was there a minus there? Yep. Yep. And so what would the a become? And then divide. Yep. Oh, 
325 over 2. Yes, good, which is? Um, 162.5. Good, so with this equation, right? Yeah. A is equal to what? What was it, A? Yep. 162.5. Yep, so that's the A intercept. What's the B intercept? Zero. Oh no, yeah. sorry. 108.3. That's right. So what that's saying is, where would this equation start along the, the B axis? As in um, 108.3. Yes, that's right. So 108.3. And where would it end along the A axis? 162.5. Yeah, which is around here, right? Got it? Yep. And so your equation is going to look something like that. Got it? Yep. And we want this point here. Yep. And that would be your value for A. And that would be your value for? B. B. And what, is, what do each of those tell us? That tells us what? That tells us what? Um, uh, yep, go on. The cost of the apples. Mm -hmm. Like the minimum cost of the apples. Yep. And then the minimum cost of the banana. Yep. In this situation, it would just be the exact cost of an apple and the exact cost of a banana. Because it's, okay. uh, um, it's, it's not a, um, uh, what do you call it? It's not a um, break-even question. Okay, it's just the cost yeah. of. Yeah, so it's just a, a cost of banana and a cost of an apple. Mm. You got it? Yeah. And then it says use the intersection yep. to find the cost of stamps of each fruit. Yeah, that's right. So that would be those A and B. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. And how would we do that? Um, so um, we would just basically read off the graph. The graph, okay. Yeah. Okay, so if you were to do this to scale. Yeah. Right, you would be able to read off how much of the apple costs and how much of the banana costs. Yeah, okay, cool. We can work it out algebraically, but I don't think um, something that you need to know for your test. So we won't go through it algebraically. I think that would probably yeah, okay. confuse you at this stage, but we will. you will have to know it eventually, but let's, let's save that for after your, your test. Yeah, sure. Um, 